Honey, how did you feel about uh, fighting in Brasilia and not having the, in, in your hometown and not having the crowd uh, supporting you at this time? Yeah, at first, I uh, was a little bit disappointed for that. But after a while, I accepted, you know, it is what it is. It's not a, a, our decision, it's not a UFC decision, it's something superior's decision. So I accept very well. It took a while for, for, for the UFC to announce what was, was going to happen when, after the governor's dec decree. Were you worried that maybe the event wouldn't happen? Uh, no, uh, right away they told us that uh, the event was going to happen, closed door, doors. And then I, I just had a, to make a, a little switch in my mind, you know, so to accept that. It's pretty acceptable, you know, it's something that we all have to take care of, so no big deal for me. It wasn't a big deal. What changed for you in your mind not having the crowd there? Oh, at first I thought, oh, now is my time to have the crown and we're not going to have the crown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, uh, you know, at, at, um, back in the day in the WC, I had like, a, I have I have fought like that before with no crowd. You know, I remember one time I had the first fight of the night. There was no crowd at all. And I actually kind of liked, you know, I felt like I was a, a training session, inspiring session. But uh, it is what it is, man. I know, I'm not going to attribute any of the result that I didn't, the result that I wanted for that, you know? Uh, not, not necessarily attributing it to a result, but just uh, was it any of it strange, though? Like the sounds, the silence, like just the sensorial experience of the whole thing. Was any of it, any part of it strange for you? Uh, you know what? It, it, it looked like a sparring session. Mm -hmm. It looked like a sparring session, you know. I, um, I had nothing to complain about mm -hmm. that. I got nothing to complain. Seriously, it, um, it, for me, it was a normal fight. Was it easier to hear your corners? Because some people say that it makes it a little bit easier without yeah, the noise. Yeah, very much. I heard everything. I heard everything his corner man was saying to him. Yeah, I could listen to everything. Do you think maybe not having the pressure also could be a good thing? Like, because the crowd can also be a little pressure, right? So that can can that also be sort of a good thing? Um, yeah, it, it really depends of the mindset, I, I think, you know, because... I kind of like the crowd too, you know, give like a, a, some energy, some extra energy. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, it, it, it's hard to say, yeah. it's hard to say, yeah. You, you, you said it felt like a training session and Barzola is a former training partner of yourself. How did that impact uh, having trained with him so many times before in the, in, in, in the actual fight? We spoke with you in, in, before the fight and you said you knew you were going to submit him. Were you surprised of how he was able to handle your jiu-jitsu? Yeah, man, I was very confident that I was going to submit him. Uh, actually, I had a few opportunities to start to work on my game, to go for the submission. But, uh, I mean, his, his main thing is definitely endurance. And, I mean, uh, in... And, and he kept his endurance, you know. I was a little bit surprised by that, you know, because, yeah, training, training, fight is fighting. So he kept his endurance. I couldn't progress on my submission game, you know. What happened that you got so tired in the later rounds? Uh, were you, is, it, is that something you were expecting? Because maybe the, the, the it's, it's so dry here in Brazil or that surprised you as well? Yeah, I can't even use that as an excuse because this is my hometown. You know, but you don't live here for years. <laughs> yeah, I, I go to do my camp at American Top Team, and and yes, yeah, like I kind of felt you know a little bit, but uh, I rather say that uh, his main thing is the endurance. My main thing is the technique, and and there was a point in the fight that I couldn't uh, put my technique anymore. You know, I spend most of my energy in the first two rounds to win the. First two, two rounds using my technique, using what I wanted, but the third round he came very strong, and uh, I, I had uh, my conditioning was basically gone, you know.
When the fight was over, how did you score? Were you, were you expecting a win, expecting a loss, or maybe expecting a draw? You know, I was or even expecting a win or expecting a draw. And uh, both, you know, I, th I thought that maybe I could get the win. Um, but uh, I think the draw was pretty reasonable. You said you weren't really concerned that they would cancel the fight because they told you right away. But there was some criticism uh, about the decision to even keep it because of the health concerns, because of the virus. Um, do, are you worried, first of all, uh, about the virus at all? No, not really. Yeah. Uh, not really. I think uh, I take care of a lot of my health, you know. I, yeah. I, I, I feel that I have a pretty good immunity. I'm more worried about my endurance in the future fights. Mm, okay. Yeah, because yeah, I guess one thing is just that here you like, have fighters from all over the world with corners from all over the world. So um, I think some people worried because of that, you know, just like it could be coming from anywhere. So you're telling me, though, that this is not something that's on your mind at the moment. Uh, oh, to what? Uh, the coronavirus, yeah. you mean? Yeah. Uh, no, no, not really. I feel good about that. You know, I take care of my health a lot. I like uh, I follow like a natural lifestyle, na natural nutrition, natural habits, mm -hmm. and I think this is help the helps the immunity, the immunity system. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm not worried about that. And a draw, it, it's it's a weird result uh, in terms of just planning, right? Because like when you when you win or you lose, it seems like you have clear paths to follow. This is kind of a weird one. So what's next after this? Uh, I think. Uh, I ju was just talking to my coaches about that. I have to to make everything clear in my mind first, relax a little bit. But um, me and Barzola, we now have something that wasn't defined. We got to do it again, I think. We have to do it again. You know? What would you do differently uh, in, uh, a second time against him? Well, um, submit him. I had a few chances, but I couldn't progress. And uh, I was surprised about that. And um, and have a, a stronger third round with something that I would work on, you know, have a stronger third round. Uh, you know, because uh, that was the, the, how would I say that? Like a, a, the, the switch, I think, the, the shift moment between me and him, which was helpful to him, you know, that uh, before I got tied in the third round and and he always keeps the fights very strong, you know, mm -hmm. for the all rounds. So that was the shift moment that le led him to the draw, you know, because I had the fight on my hands, you know. I just couldn't keep so I would work on on have a, a stronger third round, a strong durability, durability during the fight and work on get my submissions, you know, because I had a, a few opportunities to get the submission. I took the back. I was able to, to get to his back a few times, but I, I didn't put the hooks in. I tried to get the choke. So right now, uh, analyzing that, you know, is something that uh, a jiu-jitsu guy can not do, like lose the opportunity to take the back and choke. And, and I lost these opportunities because I was so focused on on scoring the points, you know. So, yeah, we got to do it again, man. I think we got to do it again. I think he wants. I think it's pretty reasonable. I think the UFC would want that too. So, yeah.